So, Katerina, you're the network convener for research in arts education. Yes. I was really interested in that. Can you tell me what's the main idea that uh, bring people to your network? Well, uh, I think that probably we could start about uh, the main purposes of the research in arts education network. And basically, uh, as the, the name indicates, it is a network that is focused on arts education research. And here I think that the, the, the name itself, the arts in the plural, it is important uh, because if you think about arts education, probably what comes firstly to your mind is visual arts, particularly drawing, for instance, or music. And I think it is not by chance, because historically, since the 19th century, these were the two subjects that were incorporated in the curriculum for mass schooling. So there are other expressions within the arts that usually are not contemplated, uh, such as dance, uh, theatre, performance, even visual culture or art history, for instance. So the name Arts Education Research opens the field, and I think that this is one of the uh, strongest things that bring people to, to the network to present their research. So what, what kind of topics uh, come up in, in your sessions in the conference? Well, uh, there, there is a great diversity of, of topics being presented, uh, particularly within visual arts, the music, uh, the theatre, uh, but it, it is not only research developed within schools in these kind of institutional uh, formal places so like the classroom for instance but also uh, other kinds of research that are made for instance in museums in communities and that also question the usual spaces and usual formats for uh, research in education and it's always a, a, a challenge that we are trying to keep alive in the network it is to rethink what is research in arts education not properly through arts or um, other kinds of research that in a way instrumentalize the arts in education we try to and that's another another important thing about the network uh, because it is research on arts education but it is the topic of research and this topic of research is uh, really important as a problematization of what research is. It's not a closed question, it's a question that is always uh, emerging. How does your network contribute to that European dimension of education? Of course the network uh, is completely aligned with ERA's statement about high quality research. Uh, for the benefit of education and society. But I think that we have to question uh, what kind of society are, are we talking about? We are living uh, not uh, easy times. And as academics, I think we have to, uh, to critically engage with the kind of societies and the benefits that we are proposing through our, our research. Usually in the network, uh, this European dimension is always present in the papers being presented even when it is not being addressed as an European dimension. We have uh, uh, papers that are not from European academics, for instance. I think that they, they give us the possibility of displacing ourselves from our epistemologies, uh, European epistemologies and the North epistemolo epistemologies and try to, uh, to, to rethink our place as Europeans and to redefine our identity more uh, has the possibility of diversity and not uh, of consensus or of uh, homogeneous identities, I think. What makes your network unique? Well, I think that's the focus of the network, of course, research and arts education. Uh, and, uh, Sometimes uh, it, is, it, it is interesting because sometimes we receive papers that uh, uh, choose as a first option uh, the network 29 and then we just redirect these papers to other networks because usually these papers relate to arts education but 
through the tour, they use arts education but to achieve goals in other subjects. And so I, I do not consider these papers as research on arts education. I think that the research on arts education has to problematize also the instrumentalization that arts are being uh, are, are suffering within uh, education within education and educational agendas at a, a broad level. I think. So I think that one of the unique things is research on arts education. It's, it's important that the arts education are being problematized as a field that is different from education itself, that is not also the arts. It is a kind of a third space that is constructing uh, itself in a critical way. Is this something you're particularly proud of that you've actually achieved through your network? One of the things that we did uh, in the last year, and I think it was the great, one of the great, greatest achievements of the, of the network, and that uh, took uh, some years to prepare, it was a season school, a winter school that was held in Portugal, and uh, for PhD students in arts education, in which we tried to question the methodologies and the entanglements between arts education and. Uh, other participatory ways of, uh, of researching, in which the, 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 the ideas of uh, research itself and methodology in arts education was an open question that was uh, discussed between, between the students and the tutors that were, that were there, uh, mainly link conveners, uh, but I think it was one of the greatest achievements, achievements the season school. So with your network, do you have connections to other groups and associations outside the ECR? Well, we have, we have connections with academics and academic groups in several countries. And I think that conveners have that, that, uh, that role, that special role of making these uh, connections. But they are more based at an academic level than um, an association level, I think. What do you like about the conference? <laughs> it's a busy time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but I think that's where all this work comes to, 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 to life. It, it, it is the conference, it is the possibility of networking, of connecting with other researchers in arts education. And it is really interesting because there are not many conferences on arts education. Maybe uh, there are some, but uh, usually there are conferences uh, in which the participants are mainly teachers or even artists, but they usually they report their experiences. And so uh, th this is also a challenge to come to ESER and to present at the Research and Arts Education Network is also the possibility of linking the research to arts education, which is a link, an articulation that sometimes it's, it's not easy to do, be basically because we don't have a great tradition of research Within, within the arts, uh, so uh, the, the, the possibility that is given in ESER to contact with other researchers, with other researchers of questioning research and questioning new methodologies and new trends in research is always uh, a possibility that only ESER uh, gives to, so ESER is the, is the net, there, are, there is a lot of work uh, along the, the year, but history is the moment, I think. Katerina, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity.